guys, I am preparing to leave to go to the airport. I am about to take a solo trip to Tulum. Yes, I know everybody's going to Tulum. So I wanted to go too. But I decided to take a solo trip because I just need a break. I just need a breather. Um, yeah, I just wanted to take a break. And, and I wanted to go somewhere for my birthday. I have not spent a birthday like stationary like wherever i'm living in years and i was not gonna start now because the idea of staying in charlotte for my birthday was not appealing so yes i'm driving myself to the airport i'm gonna leave my car there today is monday the 9th my birthday is tomorrow um tuesday the 10th and then i'll be back here on the 12th that night so I'm not really gone that long. I still haven't decided what type of trip this will be. I'm not really an adventurous person when traveling. I literally go on vacation to relax. So I'm not going to be doing any um, excursions or anything. Also because I'm by myself. And then um, I don't really know. I mean, I, I don't know. It's, and it's also supposed to rain. So I really don't know what type of trip this will be. I also don't know what type of vlog this will be. Because I've been feeling very... Um, what's the word very spiritual lately so i don't know if this will be like a spiritual retreat that i you know i just made that up um, but yeah we'll see so yeah about to go to the airport um i guess i will see y'all when i'm in mexico maybe that'll be the next time i record Maybe because I'm flying from Charlotte to Florida and then Florida to Cancun. Then I have like a two-hour taxi drive to um, to Tulum. So um, maybe I could record in Florida. It just depends. I don't know. Like I gave myself enough time in between landing in Florida and getting to my gate. It's like two hours, I think, or an hour. So um, we'll just see. Y'all see me whenever you see me. All right. See y'all later. Trying to be in a light. This is really our letter guy, but um, I'm finally in Tulum. Finally, my flight was delayed two hours. My taxi driver got lost. I think we drove around the whole Tulum, so it is 8:30. I really should have been here at like 5:30. So my plan was to go to dinner when I got here, but I'm really tired. Because honestly, if I was at home, I would be making my way to bed right now. So, um, I'm about to just go to the restaurant that's at the hotel and then just go to bed and figure out my day tomorrow. I still don't know what I want to do tomorrow. Now that I'm here, I'm kind of like in the mood to do stuff. Because at first I was like, oh no, I'm just going to chill in a room. But no, now I feel like kind of doing stuff and kind of getting out. Like, you know, nothing too extreme because I am by myself. But, you know, just doing more than I suspected, than I expected. Um, I'll give y'all a room tour when I wake up in the morning, but right now I'm really, really tired. I've been up since 7.30 and I had to sit on a plane for an extra two hours for an hour and a half flight. So I was on that plane for almost four hours. And then my taxi. The taxi drive is already an hour and a half. And I think it was two. So, I'm about to go to get something to eat. I pray this food is good. Low key, I'm trying to figure out if Mexico is expensive or not because I got a margarita at the airport and it was $21. And maybe it's just because it was the airport, but damn, $21. It was a Patron margarita, but $21, but also at the airport. But at this point, I'm rambling. I will see y'all in the morning, room tour in the morning. And, um, yeah, it'd also be my birthday in the morning. Um, good morning, good people. Um, what am I about to say? It's my birthday. And I just woke up. Well, not just woke up. I've been up for a minute, actually. But, um, it's my birthday. And I'm about to take some pictures. Like I'm going somewhere, but you know, I just I am going somewhere later. But I wanted to post a little midday picture on the gram, so I'm about to put this bathing suit on and do that. But I said I would give y'all a room tour, so 
All right, so I'm coming in from the door. This is the bed. It's not really that big of a room. Um, this is the bed right here. I don't know what that ladder is, but it's there. Out here is a little private pool and then a little hammock. And then come down these steps. And in the pictures on the the website, they had these up there. But, I mean, I can move it if I want to, but it's fine. And then come back in the cut. And it's a little hammock and a little area good for pictures they said this is like the jungle whatever i don't know it feel like the jungle because it's hella bugs out here so this is the bed um it wasn't that comfortable it was kind of hard that's okay um they have this little decoration over here that's water i ain't drink that because i don't really know where it came from so i'm a low-key i might go to the store today because um, i don't want to get sick and here we have a full length mirror but the lighting is piss poor like the light is on right now and it's still dark over here and then this is my stuff this is the bathroom let me turn all the lights on the lighting in here is just not the best but it's okay um this is the bathroom and then around here you have the shower the room that i thought i was getting i thought it also had a garden tub but i guess there's like this type of room with the garden tub and without but whatever but this is not where i originally planned to stay i was i got an airbnb and i would i would put that airbnb in the description because i think i would have preferred the airbnb i had chosen as opposed to this one and i didn't stay there because of my mom she was worried about my safety she would rather me stay somewhere where it was more people because the Airbnb was smaller. It wasn't a, like, I had a, a whole house. It was like this, like a hotel room. But I just don't think it had, like, hella rooms. So, we compromised and I'm staying here. I will also recommend the Bardo, which is basically, like, a sister hotel to where I'm staying, which is the Una Vida. But the Bardo is a lot more expensive. But you can still get a room with a private pool. I was going to stay there until I found this one. But, I mean, it's cool, like... I'm not tripping. I still like the room, but I do think I would have liked my Airbnb more. And my Airbnb was way cheaper. Um, my Airbnb had two bedrooms, a private pool, and a kitchenette area. This doesn't have any of that. Um, I mean, as far as the kitchenette part, but again, it's fine. Not a big deal. Last night, I went and got food from the, um, what's the thing called? From the restaurant. But it was okay. It was lobster tortellini. And it had like five pieces of pasta and a lobster tail. It was like $35. But whatever. It was my only option. So I'm about to get, get in the shower. Put a little bit of makeup on. Take these pictures. Probably go order breakfast. Chill. And then I think I want to go to Pablo. I think it's Pablo Escobar's mansion for lunch. I'm going well, to try and see if I can go. Because I know, I've seen people say with COVID, there's been like, some, like restrictions or something. So I'll try, probably try to go there for lunch. And then after lunch, come back here again, chill. Um, there's no TV in here. But I do have my laptop, so I was watching Netflix. I forget that when you go out of the country, you don't have U.S. Netflix. You have whatever country you're in Netflix. So one of the shows I'm watching is not available on Mexico's Netflix, but it's fine. But, um... I'm going to go have lunch somewhere. If I can't go to Pablo Escobar's mansion, I'll go somewhere else. And then come back here. And then what else am I going to do? Then I'm going to have dinner somewhere. And then that'll be my birthday, I guess. I'm just worried about, like, timing everything right. Because I'm not trying to, like, sit here and be bored or whatever. So... But I also don't want to be out all day because I'm not that type of person. I'm not an out all day type of person. I do be needing to relax in between moves. So, we'll see. But, yeah, I'm about to get ready and take these pictures and then get my day. Alright, guys. So, I am dressed for my birthday. About to take some pictures really quickly. Let me not get close because this lash is really not on correctly. So I'm going to back y'all up. I got this big old hat on. I'm going to try to work it into my pictures. I'm not sure how. But, um, 
This is my birthday bathing suit from, um, this is from Matt, Matt Collection. I don't know, it's either, y'all know everybody get their bathing suits from either Matt Collection or Icon Swim. So, um, yes, I'm getting dressed, I just got dressed. I gotta back y'all up because my makeup is, I mean my lash is like not on. I tried five times. I think I'm gonna try over here first just to see although i did want to be out here at the pool but when i um when i just now just put my hat on and was just standing right here looking in the mirror i like the background of this area so i'm gonna try this first and i do have excuse me i do have my friend's tripod um because you know, trying to solo, who else gonna take the pictures? So I'm gonna try right here first, cause I like this, but I feel like it might be too close up. Um, but we'll figure it out. If I need, if it, if I need to, I will make the tripod smaller and just put it on the bed. But let me just see. I do. I just really like this little. Um, I really like this setup over here in the corner. So to take my pictures, I'm using this um, tripod. And then I also have um, this remote right here. So yes, I'm gonna set y'all up over here and let y'all watch me as I try to take pictures. Also, um, another tip for if you're like taking pictures by yourself, when you go to your camera, you have to enable this in the um, back up lashes. You have to enable, I don't know if y'all can see it, but the um, grid lines. So the grid lines will show you like what you're gonna take a picture of. So it'll show you like you need to be, stand it'll show you um, if you wanna be standing right here, you need to be, um, it'll give you a reference point of where to stand, I'm sorry. So um, yeah, you use the grid lines as a reference point to where you are. That Does that make sense? Because like it's grid lines I can't explain it. But just the grid lines help you figure out where to stand in your picture. So I'm gonna. This is so hard. Uh, literally never traveling by myself again. Just off the strength of. Ah! <laughs> I just dropped my face stuff that is no longer available. And the dropper broke. And I just wasted the product. But that's my fault for leaving glass just sitting out. You can see the freaking remote in every freaking picture. Um. I don't know. I don't really like how this is coming out. I think I need a new timer so that way I can. I'm gonna put the timer on, but still use the remote. That way I can drop the remote. All right, so I changed my mind about lunch. Um, taking those pictures of myself was tiring. So I'm about to go to the restaurant at the other hotel. I probably should have came out here and took pictures, but it's okay. Hello. How are you? How are you? Good, how are you? Yeah, I probably should have done that. But I'm a little bit shy. Like, I'm even shy now recording. I also don't feel as anxious and scared as I thought it would. And also, it's supposed to rain, and it's not raining, so I'm glad. But this is, like, the, um, like, how you get to the restaurant. It's kind of far. But... I think I'm just gonna chill here today and then um I 
after I leave here. Um, go back to the room and then, um, hey, hola. I forgot how to say good morning in Spanish. What is it? Bueno, no, buenas noches, that's good night. Buenas tardes, that's good afternoon. Forget it. What is good morning? Buenos dias, duh. Oh my god, it's such a long walk. But I'm gonna go eat by the pool. I guess. I'm really hungry. And I'm not trying to spend $30 for breakfast. But we'll see what they got. got my breakfast and I spent $30 again um, yeah so what I think I'm gonna do I think I'm gonna eat breakfast chill here for a bit I think I'm gonna go to the store because I need bottled water because you know I'm about to drink the water in Mexico and then um, I'll be out here for a little while actually I don't know how long because it's hot as hell and then go to the store and then go to a, um, go to dinner so the place I wanted to go for dinner, they were like, um, don't go there. Last week people had um, food poisoning. And then he was like, don't eat seafood or chicken off of the resort. And I'm like, what? That's all I eat. I don't eat beef. I don't eat steak. Well, beef and steak are the same thing. I don't eat pork. Well, I do eat pork, but that's never my meat of choice. I'm like, what the heck am I going to eat? But, um, yeah, I feel so good. Like, I felt like, oh, I need to, like, do something. I need to, you know, be active. But the vibe is just so, like, oh, it's just it. So, this is my breakfast. This is fruit. I don't eat bananas. I think that's papaya and pineapple. And then that's French toast. I thought it would be more than one piece. And then that's granola. And then I got this um, juice. And then this water over here. You saw the title of this and you were expecting something adventurous my shirt it looks so dark under my eyes but i think it's just because i have makeup on but i'm sorry if you were expecting something more adventurous let me tell you what just happened so i came back from the pool and got in the bed no i got in the bed but i chilled for a minute a million people told me happy birthday so i applied to that then i got up and was like okay i'm gonna go to the store give me some bottled water and some snacks I attempt to go to the store. They have bikes here. I rode a bike to the store. I get to the store. I left my wallet. So, um, and I was, I planned to eat while I was out, like stop at a little truck or something. So it's hot and I'm already hungry. So I'm like running on fumes. So I just came back to my room, had to come back to my room, get my wallet. And then order food at the hotel which i was not trying to do but whatever i don't really know if i'm gonna i'm going to dinner tonight but tomorrow i don't really know if i'm gonna leave i don't know this feels okay this is like exactly what i wanted to do just relax so i'm gonna maybe i need to put in the title relaxing solo trip to tulum because this is not adventurous there is an airbnb thing i might do tomorrow but I don't even know. Like, it just be feeling so good to not do nothing. But, I don't know. We'll see. So, I'm about to eat my lunch. I got a um, pina colada and um, this is a chicken burrito. And, I guess that's salad. I don't know. I don't eat onions. And, that's like pickled onions, right? I don't know, but I don't eat that either. So, yeah, I'm about to eat this and watch Netflix because I'm tired. I'm going to take a nap before I get up and get ready. To go to dinner. Okay. 
I'm out of the house. I'm about to check out my outfit. This is my outfit. You can't see it. It's this, the lighting is piss poor in here. But it's just this um, brown set. And it's kind of like glow on the sides. Um, I got this from some little Instagram thing called the algae. But like, you can get this on AliExpress. You can get it anywhere, honestly. I really don't feel like doing anything. I think my computer heal. I mean, what? That's not, it's okay. I just need to walk. Okay, I'll see you guys at dinner. Good morning, guys. Um, I just wanted to come and close out the vlog. Um, so, um, on my birthday, I went out to dinner, and then I came back, went to sleep, and yesterday, I really just stayed in my room, and then I ate my leftovers from dinner, and it was all downhill from there, um, from like 6 to 12, 1 in the morning, I was violently ill from food poisoning and I know like I have not gotten that sick since I don't even know when I think one time in college I got food poisoning but I was like I never I've not thrown up in years sorry TMI but I have not thrown up in years and I was throwing up yesterday but that is kind of my fault because I was warned by one of the concierge to not eat seafood or chicken off of the resort, but that's all I eat. And yeah. And then I looked it up on Twitter. I mean, he told me last week he had some guests who got sick at a different restaurant from like eating like seafood and chicken. And, um, but again, I, I didn't listen because I didn't eat my food at the restaurant. I had, I just had a couple bites. And so I have no strength. I am so tired. I did not sleep well because my stomach was still hurting through the night. My stomach still hurts now. Luckily, I stopped throwing up. But um, what was I saying? Oh, he told me last. He had guests last week who also got sick at a different restaurant from eating off the resort. So, um. This vlog will probably be up a week after, I leave, like next week. So, um, if you see this, I mean, if you see this at any time, just please be careful because then after, um, this morning I looked up on Twitter, I just looked up the phrase food poisoning saloon and it seems to be a very common thing to get sick, um, to get food poisoning here. So please, please, please just be careful. Because I feel like trash and I am traveling today and I'm really nervous about that. Because I do not want to get sick on the plane. And because coming here, we had really bad turbulence and I was like um, nauseous. And I don't, that, that has never happened to me on a plane. And so yeah, I'm kind of nervous about that because I'm not trying to be sick on the plane. So I'm just chilling. They didn't have ginger ale so I just got sparkling water. Um, I don't know what else to do. I leave in like a couple hours. And well, not like an hour. But, um, what was I going to say? But yeah, I just wanted to come and close this vlog. I absolutely enjoyed myself. I didn't really explore a lot. One, because I'm coming back in March with some friends. And also because I'm by myself and... Um, I was a little bit nervous about like being out in a town and not speaking a lot of Spanish and not having phone service So that's kind of why it turned into just a chill trip like yesterday. I did not I didn't even leave the my room. I left my room to get some water And that was it. I just chilled and then I got sick so But it was a really good trip. It's what I needed. I needed to just chill and relax and be away from everything but what I didn't need is to get sick. <clears throat> like, 
my head, my throat, my stomach hurts. Like, I'm tired because I did not sleep well. <sighs> what a perfect way to end a vacation. But, um, yeah, that's the end of my trip. I'm finished packing. I'm just about to chill until the driver comes to get me to take me to Cancun. I also am nervous because it's a long travel day, basically. Like, I've been up since 7. I'm not going to get home till 7.30. So, while being sick. So, I'm, I'm very nervous about traveling while sick. But I think I'll be okay. But I'm also nervous because I really don't feel compelled to eat. And it's a long time to go without eating. I don't know. I'll, I'll figure it out, I guess. But, um. I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. I know it's not a vlog that you guys are used to seeing. You know, you're used to seeing people who are like super active and adventurous, but this ain't that, not this time. Um, yes. And I will have my hotel, the Airbnb I was gonna stay at, and a sister hotel down in the description. Um, yeah, that's it. I will see y'all next time. Oh,